Do you want to report crime? Well, there is an app for that. Three is on your side with details of how Philadelphia police are adopting another high tech tool to fight crime. Eyewitness News reporter Diana Rocco has details. The newest crime fighting weapon is now in the hands and at the fingertips of everyday citizens. What is iWatch? It's a way of reporting suspicious behavior or activity that, that relates to crime or terrorism. Soon to be rolled out in Philadelphia, the largest big city to use the smartphone app. So at no point is the identity of the tipster ever revealed to the law enforcement agency or to anyone. Dan Elliott's brother's fiance was killed more than 20 years ago in an age when information wasn't readily available. It was because the community policing didn't tell the students at the university that there was a bad guy on campus and to be aware. So for some 25 years, that was a rock in my shoe. In 2008, Elliot introduced iWatch, which puts all sources of social media in one place, allowing users to send tips to the police department, access the department's Facebook page, send pictures, map locations, and access police hot sheets, complete with YouTube surveillance video of wanted criminals. In Dallas, tips from iWatch citizens have already led to 77 felony arrests. They send it into the iWatch database. We review it if it's we follow up on everything. Um, if it turns out to be something we need, then we have that critical information that would have been lost. Neighboring Call Win is also using iWatch. The deputy chief of police says it helps them reach younger citizens who are smartphone savvy but wouldn't normally report crimes. It should send a clear message to offenders and criminals everywhere that big town, small town, nobody's tolerating crime. Philadelphia police have not formally launched iWatch, but it is up and running. If you'd like to download the free app to your smartphone, you can scroll through the station's hot sheets. Police remind everyone it does not take the place of calling 911. Live in the Sat Center tonight, I'm Diana Rocco, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.